kaj ima o najni temi zapovedati španski novinar Alvaro Penjast, ki sicer piše za portal Evropski konzervativec. About the DSA uh, is like always with anything which comes out from the European Commission. Um, sounds good, but after that, it's not it's not that good as it sounds. Um, especially when you have uh, European Commission which believes that uh, abortion or LGBTQX are the European values. So uh, at the end, it looks like everything against goes to the to the comes back to the. To the decision of the big tech, which until now we are saying that they are most of them uh, oriented to the left and they are against any conservative thinking or or idea. And also we have uh, the fact checkers, which are most of them uh, are playing in the in the in the same in the same way. So uh, it's quite uh, difficult to believe that this is going to be something fair. Again, we will we I, I think we will see again. Uh, the prosecution of any of any speech which is against some uh, ideological uh, ideas, leftist ideas, and uh, the problem is, of course, that they try to to say that when you oppose, you are committing a crime. But this, at the end, this is what some people is trying is trying to to do here. Uh, in Spain, with this case, for example, uh, there was one influencer which published a video in which was clear that this uh, that this uh, Football player was was not telling the truth, that there was nothing, nothing but in what happened. Yes, uh, his account, his Twitter account, was uh, was suspended after that. So again, tell the truth can be can be a big problem <laughs> if you if you are playing, you know, you are playing the games with these with these uh, at the end these leftist people. So yes, I think um, we have to be uh, we have to pay attention to what happens with this. And of course, uh, keep fighting for for a real freedom of speech to end this this cancel counter and censorship.